If I were Mahersh, if you're listening to this, Mahersh, walk away, man. Yeah. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Jeremy Pod. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me as always is Mr. Brian Schultz. Pardon my jovial mood. <laughs> And it just, and the hits just keep on coming. But we had a discussion prior to starting this show as to what we were going to talk about because there's just so many things to talk about. But we want to focus in on the little bits and pieces that we've been laying out for all these years. Ever since the debacle or the smell or the hint of... The MCU falling off. We've been talking about this. Brian. Blade. Let's talk about Blade. Brian, what have we been saying? I'll let you say what we've been saying. But we've been saying this for a, a minute. To Pablo's full credit. So for those of you who have not been along for this whole ride. He's been on this since the moment Mahershala Ali walked on stage as the surprise capper to what was then peak Marvel in terms of rabid fandom. But Pablo noted at the time, he said, you know, there's something a little off about this. Like, it's just, they just have a deal with Mahershala Ali. They don't have a story. They don't have an idea. They don't have a director. They don't have any structure. They just have Mahershala calling Kevin and Kevin saying, good, let's, let's do this. Let's sign a contract. And that was a change from what Marvel had been doing. And it, it felt like every step of the way this project has been plagued by some combination of bad luck bad execution and just a complete lack of vision for what exactly the Mahershala Ali version of the Daywalker is supposed to be and that has led us ultimately to speculate that this iteration of Blade would not make it to the finish line they got as close as prepping a shoot in Atlanta they were days away and then that got scrapped. And now we've gone through a couple other iterations and we'll rehash as we go through here. But it now, finally, Pablo, does seem like we are going to be proven right that the Mahershala Ali version of Blade is at best teetering and seems most likely to end with him walking away from the role, which is exactly what we told you on our last show we seem to be headed for. Yeah. Brian, you touched on it. Last time when you said that it was a rejection of Mahershala Ali because he chose the guy that he had worked with on True Detective to write this. And Kevin Feige said, nah. He said nah to not one, but two time Oscar winner. Robert Downey Jr. don't got no Oscars. But he had a lot of say in Iron Man 3. Brie Larson, she has an Oscar. But I'm pretty sure she has some say. Chloe Zhao, she has an Oscar. I'm sure she had a lot of say. <laughs> but now Mahershal Ali, two-time <laughs> Oscar winner. Says, I got this guy... I read, we read the script. We hear Kevin Foggy said, nah, if I were Mahershala, if you're listening to this, Mahershala, walk away, man. Yeah. Walk away. Because you losing from Jump Street. We've been saying, regardless of what you do, you can be, you can try to be unique as possible and that will be the way to go. But if you come anywhere near close to looking like what Wesley Snipe did. The comparisons are going to come. And you're going to have to exceed that bar, not match it. Exceed it. And I think you could, you, you could, he could have probably done that because he always he, I think he could have done that but now it's just getting too like we're over it now. We're getting Reports that whatever's being shown, it's not good enough, Brian. He needs to walk away. I would also say that 
Marvel needs Mahershala more than Mahershala needs Marvel. This is not a man whose career is in dire straits, right? The two Oscars are fairly fresh in people's memory. Um, and you, it, stuff he did not win an award for, but is well known for, like his Remy Denton House of Cards role. Um, he's in a couple of high profile projects outside. He doesn't need, like there are actors as we've seen who come to this genre to get the bag because they need it. They need that for their career. He doesn't. He's better off keeping himself clear of a poorly constructed Blade project than he is becoming the butt of the joke if this thing goes down in flames. And it feels to me like that's where we're at. So there's a, I mean, basically a Marvel hit piece up on Variety called Crisis at Marvel. And it really lays bare a lot of the things we've been suspecting, which is that this thing did go through five different script iterations, one of which, and I, as we said, the most telling was the Nick Pizzolatto from True Detective, where Mahershala had starred, to Blade, gets full rejection. It does confirm, or at least confirm something along the lines of what I had put, put up last time, which was this idea of Blade's daughter. It does mention there it was... There was, an iter so th this is exactly what we talked about. There was an iteration of Blade, the most recent iteration, in fact, which was a female-led Blade movie about, quote, this is Variety's quote, life lessons where Blade was relegated to the fourth lead. So how do you think the two-time Oscar winner reacted to that? Now, we said, when we heard that, I said, that's the kind of thing that would cause tension. His reaction was, I'm out. As it should have been. That is the correct response when Kevin and Disney say, hey, this is what we want you to do. So the latest is Kevin is now in full scramble mode to keep Mahershala because, as I said, Kevin does know Marvel needs Mahershala more than the other way around. But the thing that, to me, is the death knell of this project is that they're back at square one and the budget has been cut below $100 million, which means nobody at Disney believes in this, which means I think Mahershala is going to look around and say, wait a minute, a skeleton bare bones version of Blade is not, I mean, think about it. If you sign in for Marvel in 2019, do you think you're signing for a $75 million budget if you're the lead? Come on now. Walk away. That's it. I don't know. The song and dance on this, I think, like I said, coming off the strikes, uh, will sort of be like, okay, now they're severely cut the budget. They're, quote, hoping to shoot sometime in 2025. Everything about that to me smells of we just gently wait. We ease that yeah. one off. Mahershala is no longer, there's not even an announcement. It's just he's no longer attached. Someone asked him at a press junket for another movie, and he says, I haven't heard anything. I'm no longer attached to the role. And life goes on. I think Mahershala only is going to wait around for something like this he got the other things to do i'm pretty sure he got some good things lined up if you go to his imdb he well, doesn't plus, need if, this if, listen i mean I, I think it's just it just horrifically bad idea but if if the parliament and kevin or whoever in the room is hell-bent on some female young avengers blade version like if you're marshall Ali, you just say thank you I don't need that. You can find someone. Why bother? Why fight that uphill battle? There's no point. You've already lost. If that's what they're set on doing, let them let them destroy their own house doing that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brian, if I walk into a room and this is your pitch to me and you're saying that this is what you want to do and you're the guy in charge and you're telling me that this is what you want to do and you're excited about this, there's no way... I'm going to be able to convince you that that is not the right way to go. I might as well just say thank you for the opportunity and bounce and do something dope somewhere, somewhere else. Go to DC. Pretty sure he can do something dope there. New cyborg. <laughs> <laughs> Make amends. Make amends. <laughs> oh, man. <coughs> No, John. I mean, all you can do, John Stewart, man. John Stewart, yeah. That's. I mean, that, if he want to do that, he'd be he'd be amazing as as that. Are you kidding me? He's he's overqualified, but he he would look great 
you know, with the right. Mahershal Ali, this is the opportunity to make another phone call <laughs> and just say, yo, James, I want to do John Stewart. And James Gunn is not going to say no. Are you kidding me? Anyway, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of all this. And just, yo, just, just. Just give us our props. Hit that like button. Just hit that like button at least. Hit that like button. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's like we've been telling you this for the for a minute already. And finally, it comes to pass. No, no, no. It came to pass a long time ago. This is just That's coming right. out now. That's right. You could see it. That's This is the definition of a development hell, troubled production all the way. There was never... Never remember, like even when they were finding the first director, how difficult it was because they were like, "Oh, we can't get the." Vi they did not have a plan for this character from the get-go, and it, it never got past that. Never got past that. And one of the reasons why, and this, and we'll, we'll sign off after this. There was always talk of doing the Midnight Sun run. Yeah. Blade, seemingly, and. And Black Knight. Yeah, remember the remember the little voice clip at yeah, the end yeah, of Eternal. Yeah. Thank God for Mahershala's sake, he never appeared on screen in costume. I know, right? A win for him, yeah. <sighs> but there was no development on Ghost Rider and other things happening in that world. I mean, there was certainly talk after Werewolf by Night, and he was supposed to be, oh, Blade uh, was supposed to make an appearance in that. Uh, but th that right there, the mere thought that. If Blade would have been in that joint, Brian, come on. You know what I'm saying? But they didn't do it because they didn't believe in whatever it is that they were doing with that character at that time. Leave. Yeah. Just be out. Just be out, yo. I'd rather you be out, man. I just be, be out, yo. Yeah, let us know in the comment section below. Hit that like button, man. Hit that and comment in the comment section below. Let it, just give us, you know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, we'll see you next time on the Nerd Gym Report. The show goes on. Yeah!